Scavenger receptors are receptors on macrophages, which are a type of white blood cell. Their job is to scavenge the blood for things that are harmful. They locate low-density lipoproteins, or LDLs, also known as bad cholesterol, and pathogens, such as bacteria, that are floating in the blood. This causes the macrophages to turn into foam cells, which are a bubbly, sticky cell that attaches to the sides of arteries. If enough of these foam cells build up, a plaque can form and cause the arteries to harden and become stiff. The stiffening can cause inflammation and high blood pressure. The way that the receptor recognizes pathogens and LDLs, the bad cholesterol, is part of the receptor that is on the outside of the cell binds to the pathogen or the bad cholesterol molecule. This triggers the macrophage to bring the receptor and the pathogen into the macrophage, creating a little pocket called a phagosome. These little pockets filled with acid, called lysosomes, combine with the phagosome, forming one big pocket called a phagolysosome which contains acid, the pathogen, and the receptor. The acid dissolves the receptor and the pathogen, and the macrophage is free to move on and find more LDLs or bacteria. Once everything is digested by the acid, the macrophage uses these parts to initiate immune response and tell other cells what happened so they can be prepared for a similar infection or encounter. Another function of the scavenger receptors is to work with toll-like receptors. This is a different type of cellular surface receptor. The scavenger receptor works with the toll-like receptor, or TLR, shown in red, binding the pathogen and the two receptors at the same time. The TLR can then send signals to other cells or to the inside of the cell to make uh, molecules that would work against the specific pathogen that it bound to.